Hey guys, so I am currently designing an open source Delta robot for pick and place applications. And basically right now I'm just going to have it pick and place different marbles and chips with a vision system. And so right now I've already done some testing. These three stepper motors were definitely too weak, so I had to upgrade them. And you'll see here. I've already designed the arms for the robot and they're definitely up to the task for what I plan on doing with it. So I've already been experimenting with different suction cups and so here you can see how well this one works. So these motors are definitely upgrade to these. These are about 60 ounce inches and these are 92 ounce inches. And when you see specs on stepper motors, that basically means this can hold a 92 ounce load one inches from the center line of the shaft. So you'll sometimes see them as Newton centimeters or Newton meters. And then basically the longer this lever is, the less force that it can take. So I've designed this enclosure out of the aluminum extrusion and you can see I've got motor mounts here and the arms here are laser cut pressed in hardware attached to the shaft here and this is called the end effector it's basically what's going to hold the rod ends and the arms for uh, that attach the end of this linkage and when I use these motors, they stall out pretty quickly with that arm. It can't handle the speed and the acceleration. So if this project gets enough traction, I might design and maybe sell boards, uh, stepper motor controller boards that have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, like all complete with like an ESP32 but for the initial project I'm just going to use these uh, TI stepper motor drivers from Texas Instruments and I'll make that all open source and the code and everything if you want to help make videos like this possible and projects like this possible you can support me on Patreon if not that's fine too so hope you like the video I'll see you guys next time bye